Hello humanity! So in this video we're gonna explain what awakening really means. But I want you to take a look at this video. Alright? There's many different types of awakening. But let's look at this video. This girl kinda has it kinda good explaining it, but I wanna take it even farther. Fucking crazy. How we all live in like different realities and different dimensions right now. Like, you know, before the awakening, right, before I started doing a deep dive into myself, before I started waking up to the fucking illusions of this goddamn reality that we've been enslaved in for so long, I was just like fucking everybody else, you know? We were all in the same place together. And now, even scrolling through TikTok, I'm literally like, what the fuck? I live in a whole different dimension reality than other people do. Like, we're not all on the same fucking playing field. And I don't mean this in, like, I'm better or worse. It's like, it's just wild to see where some people are, other people are, and then other people are. You know what I'm saying? It is crazy. Like, we are literally in a spiritual warfare right now. Like, literally, the great awakening. Like, souls waking up. And, like, and then there are other people just, like, partying and, like, caring about just, like, all the shit, like superficial shit, and I'm not saying anything's wrong or bad or worse or good. I'm just saying, what the fuck? It bugs me out sometimes. I'm like, bro, this is like, it's such a wild, gnarly experience to experience to see where other people are in just different dimensions and realities. Like, and the more you awaken, the more you see, the more you can't believe that other people can't see. And I get it. Like, not everyone is meant to awaken. Not everyone is meant to go through this journey. But for the ones that are. So, okay, kind of a good video, all right? But let's put more emphasis in it. So, what is awakening? Awakening is you observing nature and you seeing that something is wrong, okay? It, it always bugged you since you were a little kid, even since you were in kindergarten. You knew something was wrong, all right? Then, when you were in preschool, then high school, okay? In college, you knew something was wrong with the world. When you went to church, you knew something is wrong. For example, in the Matrix, uh, Neil, these people are not ready to be unplugged. And you look at all those people in the background. Those are the people who support the fake government system, the fake world religions, and the fake education system. It's all fake. It's all created to blind the people. And that's the people who rule over you. All right? If you want those people right now and this stupidity, Oh, I'm going to vote for what? For Trump. Oh, I'm going to vote for Biden. Oh, you trapped in the illusion. You are all stupid people. If you are an employee of the federal government, this means any military people. When you sign up to be in the military, you are sacrificed for nations. Balance. And your contrast is balance. Remember Georgia Geistons? Maintain humanity under 500 billion. Spropio balance. All wars is population control. You one of them. That's why I laugh when they say veterans, all right? Oh my gosh. You don't join. Period. You don't join. That's why they get you right after, right after high school because you don't have the brains to think. Plus, they indoctrinate you in the fake education system. Religion is the number one incredibly stupid people. The only way would be once I say people are waking up when you go to war with religious people. When you start spray painting, you know, the real word of God, G750, astrological. And you put all brain, all religious people are brainwashed, indoctrinated. When you start going to the, their churches and telling them how brainwashed they are, that's when people start waking up. All right? When you start going to the courtrooms and telling the judge he's wrong, okay? Because the judges, police officers, and lawyers are one. It's a, it's a corrupt organization. They're focusing on the hardworking people to reduce the population. It's all the same. But these people who work for them, they can't see it. All right? Again, the global parasites, the global elites, they created this fictional world for you people to love the lies. What what other lies been out there? Um, Titanic. A lie. Remember, there were two boats, all right? 9-11. The biggest one of them all. Actually, the moon landing. They've been lying to us for a long time. Let's go back with Titanic. Then the moon landing. Freaking lie. 9-11. All these things that the federal government does. 2020, the fake you know what. 
that we can't see because they control this. If you talk about it, they remove all those things because they control these platforms and don't want any people knowing. All those from a long time ago. Remember our grandparents that and our parents got that circle one in their in their arm. And I noticed, you know, my my mom's side of the family, they all got it done and a lot of them died because of that. It it takes a while. It would take ten to twenty years to you to they all die young. They all die at the age of in their thirties, they die. And I I remember ever since twenty twenty, then I started thinking about it, hey, my mom died, my my two aunts died, my two uncles, and my mom's side of the family. Because I was close, I can see them. And uh, they all got that. And when you do that research with that, those people who got it from that back in the day, a lot of people died from that. All right? So it's going to take a while for the new 2020 that they did. So about population control, okay? That's awakening. You knowing and seeing and studying and doing your research, all right, and seeing through the lines, all right, what's well, awakening, let me show you more, this right here is awakening, it's when I learned this, and I saw this image, and I said, oh, this is the Milky Way galaxy, but I've been trying to tell people, this is the beginning, another one, scientists in our system are all stupid people, telling you E equals MC squared with Albert Einstein, no, it's saying energy equals millennium cycle two suns, the square and the cross. Okay, now these other scientists making all these bullshit. Why are you trying to say? No, Albert Einstein stole all that knowledge from Elena, some Russian lady. And it was all about nature. He, he basically turned the religious Bible into a science book. Fictional stories. Albert Einstein even tells you, we all geniuses. Once you figure out what they're trying to tell you. Nicholas Tesla, the power of 369, equals 18. Equals 18. Okay, Nicholas Tesla, 369. 666 equals 18. All 18 constellation bound together. The 19, and sometimes in some books they call it the 14. All depends which culture you are or what Bible you're reading. They're talking about the um, 14 or 19 constellation where it's on solar system. Okay, it can come it comes underneath the lion, the Leo constellations, okay? It enters our constellation in the month of Gemini, June, for 40 days. You get it? That's awakening, you knowing. Never believe. By you believing, you give whatever fictional religious beliefs power. You don't give your creator power away, your God power away. You don't give it away. The 16th chapel, you see through the veil, through the illusions of the paintings. This is awakening. You knowing the truth, not believing, you knowing. This is awakening. You counting, knowing nature, how it works, and you can see through the illusion. This is awakening. Now, for you people who follow the ancient aliens, Gaia, all those stupid dumb fucks in there, here. Not UFOs. It, this UFO here represents the earth. And I gave you the powers, the sun activity in earth. You see, they have to tell you the truth. Fictionalize fiction reality. Okay? That's how you wake up when you start seeing through the fake government lies. We're all guys because they're all one united. They want to keep you guys stupid as possible. Alright? Fiction. All those religious beliefs is fiction. Here's reality. So for all you religious people, you're not awake. Your imaginary God named God and Jesus are sons. The devil is your God. The devil is the Red Sun, who is also named Eve, David. The Red Sun solar system has many names, Samson, Moises, etc. When the eight suns are awakened, it's the energy that creates your imaginary God. You get it? So the devil is God. Samson is God. Moises is God. Goliath is God as one of the sons, one of the eight suns. You get it? Okay? This is awakening, knowing the truth. Noah's family is God. You get it? The eight sons. Once you know the we above and the we below, you see past, present, and future. All these cycles have happened before. AI always been around. Okay? They control everything. They're the ones on top of the pyramid. Ice age for 2,000 years, 10,000 years of sunlight. 
fire age, high karma activity makes everything bigger again. This is awakening. 